Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're gonna check out some cringe-worthy moments from top comedians that went too far and almost got themselves cancelled. Before we get on with it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that said, let's get on with it. When Bill Burr went onto the Conan show, he spoke about Caitlyn Jenner's transition and jokes that he wished he got a chance to say goodbye to Bruce first. Many people felt Bill went too far with that joke and that it was homophobic since Caitlyn had just transitioned. Bruce became Caitlyn. That was like a national news story, like yeah. on a, at a ridiculous level. He should have given us a chance to say goodbye. I love, you know, <laughs> I watched him on the Olympics. Uh -huh. I watched him on chips. Dude, you shave your beard off. People were like, oh my God, that's your chin? Wow. <laughs> this guy walked out a dude, came back a woman. You're just supposed to be like, oh yes, anyways, Caitlyn, that's all I was saying. <laughs> Late night host and comedian Jimmy Kimmel made a joke about Chris Benoit during Flava Flav's comedy roast and it angered some people in the audience. Jimmy's joke came only a month after Chris committed murder-suicide, so many people felt that joke was in poor taste and too soon. Chris Benoit is a better father than Flavor Flav. The general consensus was that this joke was too much too soon since it had been less than a month since the professional wrestler had killed his family. During his 2016 Golden Globes monologue, Ricky Gervais joked about Caitlyn Jenner's transition and a recent car crash she was involved in. The joke was considered poor taste since Caitlyn Jenner's crash led to the death of a 69-year-old woman. Now Caitlyn Jenner, of course, she became a role model for trans people everywhere, showing great bravery in breaking down barriers and destroying stereotypes. She didn't do a lot for women drivers, but <laughs> when Chris Rock hosted the Oscars and made a joke about Asians and how smart they were, well, he got a ton of backlash. The comedian used three little kids to make fun of how smart Asians are, and it was in pretty poor taste. The results of tonight's Academy Awards have been tabulated by the accounting firm of Price, Waterhouse, and Cooper. They sent us their most dedicated, accurate, and hard-working representative, Ming Zhu, Bao Ling, and David Moskowitz. <laughs> if anybody's upset about that joke, just tweet about it on your phone that was also made by these kids. Some of Ricky Gervais' jokes are known for offending a lot of people. During his 2019 Chicago stand-up show, Ricky told a joke about fathers who abused their daughters and it angered a lot of people since it's a very sensitive topic for most people. Till the man came along. Yeah, a man came along and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? He took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? He took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, we'll make something up. <laughs> Louis C.K.'s monologue on SNL went a bit too far when he made a joke about child molesters and it was in poor taste. He got a lot of backlash from viewers about his statements, which many thought were sympathetic towards the abusers. There's no worse life available to a human than being a caught child molester. And yet, if somebody said to me, if you eat another mouse bar, you'll go to jail and everybody will hate you, I would stop eating them. Because they do taste delicious, but they don't taste as good as a young boy does and shouldn't to a child molester, not to me. Comedian Bill Maher crossed the line when he used a racial slur during a live taping of his show Real Time with Bill Maher in a conversation with a Nebraska senator. Bill's use of the N-word drew so much outrage that he had to apologize for saying it. To Nebraska more. I, you're welcome. We'd love to have you work in the fields with us. Work in the fields? That's part of that. That's... Senator, I'm a house nigga. No, it's, it's a show. Comedian Dave Chappelle got into a lot of trouble with the trans community after his jokes about trans women from his Netflix special, which went viral. Dave joked that female parts on trans women are not real and his sentiments got so much backlash that people wanted to cancel Netflix and the show. I am not saying that to say that trans women aren't women. I'm not saying it's not pussy, but that's like beyond pussy or impossible pussy. <laughs> It's not blood, that's beet juice. In 2017, Kathy Griffin made a joke about Donald Trump by doing a photo shoot holding a fake severed head of the splitting image of the president at the time. 
Many people felt like Kathy crossed the line with the photo and it led to her losing partnerships. So you want, I hold it back here. Same exact thing. That's it. Okay. Rotate a little bit this way. Other this way, way, other way, other way. That's it right there, pull it up. Drop it. When Chris Rock took to the stage to host the Oscars, he made a pretty insensitive joke about Jada Smith and her condition, which causes loss of hair. The joke didn't sit well with Jada or Will, and it ended up with him getting a slap for his not so funny remark. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? Comedian Chris Rock also made fun of Meghan Markle coming forward to complain about the racism in the royal family. Many people in America felt Chris took the joke too far, especially when racism is still a huge issue affecting millions of people. Like, what's this girl, uh, Meghan Markle? Just complaining. I was like, didn't she hit the light skin lottery? Acting all dumb like she don't know nothing. I had no idea how racist they were. It's the royal family. They're the original racists. They wanted to know how brown the baby was going to be. I'm like, that's not racist. Because even black people want to know <laughs> how brown the baby going to be. Shit. Dubai host and comedian Ramez Galal pranked Paris Hilton in a joke that went too far. The host predicted that the plane they were going to ride in was going to crash, so he could scare Paris for his show's ratings. Ricky Gervais' joke about Jeffrey Epstein at the Golden Globes didn't sit well with the audience at the award ceremony or the ones at home. Ricky joked that Epstein should commit suicide for his crimes, which most people didn't find funny. That's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer, and it's still more fun than this. Um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself, just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. Stand-up comedian Jimmy Carr got a load of backlash when he joked about the Holocaust wiping out Jews and gypsies. The comedian joked that the positive to the massacre was that most of the gypsies were wiped out. Yikes. Being lost to the Nazi war machine. But they never mention the thousands of gypsies that were killed by the Nazis. No one ever wants to talk about that because no one ever wants to talk about the positives. <laughs> Tracy Morgan made a bad joke about his son during a Chicago stand-up show. The comedian jokes that if he ever found his son to be gay, he would pull out a knife and stab him to death if they don't talk to him like a man. Tracy had to issue a public apology after his anti-gay rant led to massive backlash from his fans. Morgan went on a homophobic rant, telling the audience that if his son were gay, he would pull out a knife and stab him to death. I pride myself on 20 years, 18 years of stand-up, of using it to heal people and not hurt. That was my whole thing. And I hurt people with this. Robin Williams' jokes about the Pope and Vatican condoning homosexuality didn't sit well with everyone, especially the Christian community. Robin accused Christians of only going to confessions to admit their sexual promiscuity, and even jokes that the Pope could secretly be gay. The Vatican and homosexuality, oil, water. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Yes, my son. Last night I had sex with two tie twins, a slip and slide, a diving helmet, and a ferret. Could you say that slower, my son? Jim Jeffries' joke about why he could never be gay didn't sit well with a lot of the female audience. The comedian told a joke that started off funny but ended up disrespecting women in the process. I like men. Men like me. We like each other. I hate women. 
<laughs> Women hate me. We hate each other. The only reason I couldn't be gay is because I could never fuck a man. Because I could never fuck something that I respect. That Jim Jeffries moment brings us to the end of today's video. Which joke crossed the line for you? Let us know down below and don't forget to share this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And leave a like if you like the content. We'll see you in the next one.